running shoes. A lot more to them than you think. Today we're on location at Endurance House with Jeff to find out how to pick the right running shoe for you. Jeff, thanks again for joining us on Second Act TV to discuss how to pick the right running shoe as we get started running. I need new running shoes, and I have, you know, we've talked off camera. I've been running into some issues, so I want to be the guinea pig to show our viewers, you know, really what goes into picking the right shoe and why it's so important. So let's get started. Let's. So, Silica, first, tell me about your running that you're doing now, how much, how often, how far? I, because I've been developing some issues <laughs> that are associated, probably associated with aging, I, my typical run right now is anywhere from three to five miles. I've done a marathon, I've done lots of half right. marathons recently, within the last three years, but I developed a little bit of knee problems, nothing too serious, uh, but something that, you know, I've become aware of. And my shoes that I've loved and have like eight different pairs now all seem too small. You went ahead and answered the next question I was going <laughs> to ask you, which is, talk to me about any issues you might be having with any of your joints, knees, hips, back, feet, ankles, anything like that. So you said you're experiencing some knee pain. Yeah, I'm getting some, some uh, like that, that clicking in the knee. It's mm -hmm. not really pain, but it feels like right. my knee might go out or it buckles under me. Yeah. Although that's okay. actually never really happened, but, it, but it's that feeling. All right. And my feet have been, have hurt. Um, it's not uncommon as we become more experienced runners uh, to have to size <laughs> or up. Or older runners. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Uh, to size up periodically um, from when I first started running as an adult to what I wear now, it's two sizes bigger. Wow. So we'll be thinking maybe a little bit up in size, but first thing we want to do is we want to get you on the treadmill in our test shoe to get a sense of what your foot strike looks like, to give, an, give us an idea of what type of shoe would be best for you. Sounds you ready? good. Let's do it. Uh, or specialty uh, running stores do something that's, like again, this? Again, that's a great question because why you want to go to a run specialty store is that they're most likely going to offer some sort of analysis mm -hmm. like this. You want someone to take a look to see how, how you run, definitely. I'm excited. I have a completely new pair of shoes that I can honestly say I would not have gone to, you know, by myself. I mean, I've gotten the last eight eight pairs with the same. That's why you want to go to a store such as this. We brought out a number of different shoes for you mm -hmm. to try on. One, two, three, f five different shoes for you to try on. And it's really important to go through that process because comfort is the number one factor and finding the right pair of shoes. And, and like we said at the beginning of the segment, you know, this is one of the most important things you can do when you first start a running program. And I'm a long time runner, and you, you, you've taught me two things today. And so that's even, you know, really drives that point home why you need to come to a specialty store. Just, just do it one time and get fitted yep. correctly would be my biggest uh, takeaway. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, anything else that uh, you want to add? The only thing I would suggest is that anytime you get a new pair of shoes that are different from the ones that you've worn in the past, you want to give yourself a little transition time. Okay. Switching back and forth a little bit, old shoe, new shoe, until you become a little more accustomed to the new shoe, and then knock them dead. 
Well, thanks again for all the great information, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Well, thanks for coming down. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah, well, and it's going to be even more fun when we actually get out there and run. And that reminds us, we are launching the Second Act Runners Club. Go to our website, secondact.tv, and we'll see you out on the trails. Will that kind of work? Sure. Super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Wow. Such an endorsement.